No beat. All right, we're going to do the carb kits on this. This is a um, V Star 650. So I uh, had some, I think they were six millimeter Allens in the gas tank. We've got 12 millimeter bolts right here. They're going to need to come out. We'll get this gas tank off and get to these carburetors. So I've already shut my gas line off over here and I took off the gas line from the pet cock to the tank. Before I get in here, I'm going to get my air compressor on and blow all the dust out of here. So underneath your gas tank, you just have one fuel line here that goes to the pet cock on the gas tank. All right, so we're going to want to get that one loose there, that one loose there, and then up underneath the carburetors, you can see right there is one for the back breather boot. All right, so if you've never done it before, um, get a camera or something, take some pictures just so you have some records, uh, especially if you're gonna take them all the way out. Note where your plugs are. You can even uh, look at the wires and see what color they are. Um, this one's got a little skinnier deal. It goes to the back, you know, however you wanna do it. This one goes to the top. It's got the fatter wire, or you can actually look at the colors. That one's got a black and white and a yellow, looks like. And that one's a single wire, so you probably can't unhook them, hook them up wrong anyway. Um, looks like there's another one right here. All right, so I did notice one thing. If you look down there, the nut's are already off on here. Um, so, not sure what happened there, but... Uh, All right. So we got some Allen bolts that hold the carbs up underneath there and I got them loose. So I'm probably gonna have to use two hands in here so I don't knock a bunch of crap down the motor. And I still got my choke cable hooked up. Let's see what else we got. I'm gonna go ahead and cover our intake. I think we got a couple of lines on the back side that I missed. All right, so just remember when you got your carbs here, the one with the big uh, nut will go on the bottom of your wheel, this carb, carb sitting there like that. And then the one with the adjuster nut is gonna be on the top, which is easier to get to, which makes sense. So sometimes I like to check my diaphragms and they should have a little bit of resistance. Now I am replacing all this, but I noticed that one. I think it might be actually leaking. We're gonna find out when we get inside there. All right, so we're gonna see if we can get some of this off. Um, this is a quite a complete kit. So we got our float. Needle looks a little nasty. We need to get that out. Um, these are flat headed screwdriver. So. We'll do one carb at a time. Pay attention, the stuff comes off here. You've got a brass uh, washer underneath here. That's just a regular jet. And this actually should have a jet inside of it too, which is stuck on there pretty good. Um, we'll have to get that out, use a wrench, and then that jet flat-headed screwdriver, eight millimeter, and you got a little brass washer right here that you need to make sure you remember to replace. These, if you got one of these screwdrivers, I believe, yeah, we got a new float seat right here. We'll pull that out with some, actually came out. You've got a, uh, filter on there too which we got in the kit we'll clean all that out too I see some debris down in there all right this is a six millimeter that's got a brass washer on it too 
All right, so you've got a little keeper right here for your emulsion tube. You're going to have a new one. And I just took that, and my other one fell right through. It is... Ooh. Let's go ahead and get our gaskets off of here. Q-tips are always good. That one's still pretty dirty. That one I got close. Ran out of cleaner. Alright, so 8mm wrench. Make sure you get the right screwdriver. And when you put your new jet in there, do not hammer it down. These swell up after they get hot. And uh, you'll just be in, you'll hate life if you ever have to take it apart again. Or the next guy. So... Probably about one, two pounds of pressure on this brass is all it needs to to stay good. Let me get all right, I'm going to take this thing for a ride. Test ride. We got the carburetor done and everything. Battery's no good pretty early in the morning, but who cares? Let's see if we can get her to start. Alright you guys, like, subscribe, hit the notification button. His battery's dead, so it's taking a little bit away from the spark and stuff. He's going to need to get a new battery for sure. But, Jace, your bike done. Come get it, bro. Free of charge, as usual. We're out of here. Leave a comment.